Hi and hello everyone and welcome back to our EU4 multiplayer series featuring myself, Berg787, Torio, and Grey Hunter. Hello. Hello. Alright. We had a bit of a pause in between episodes, now I can't remember what I was doing. Um, <laughs> stuff and things. Stuff and things. Let's just unpause. Yep. Yeah, I got some claims. In the last episode I formed the Netherlands finally. And oh, I was yeah, that's, that's a thing. I was trying to diplomatically vassalize Oldenburg, but uh, apparently as I'm no longer in the Empire and they are, they don't want to accept it anymore. So that is an alliance I'm probably going to dissolve. Do Maybe. I have a claim on the No, I don't. Making moves. Oh, and I got claims on all of Burgundy. All of it? Well, Every almost. bit of it. Um, mm. Apart all from mine. Rethel. All yeah. mine. And on Flanders, That's but Flanders is actually a vassal of France now. So they are. Fortunately, they're currently Protestant. Yeah. No, they're not. Or at least the provinces. The Who government is isn't. Oh, one provinces. of the um, one, yeah, one of the provinces of, that, of Flanders is High Protestant. Yeah. One of the really annoying things about Austria taking basically most of Venice is now that they can build a fleet that's half decent. Yeah. And they border you. Well, that as well, but... Like, directly. They do, but that's been a case for a while. That's not the end of the world, because... Because France is still going to back me up. Hmm. And I don't think I'm a rival of theirs or anything like that. Oh no, France changed to defensive. No, quickly improve relations. <laughs> They're not as happy anymore. No. Because, they don't um, like me as much because I'm a heretic, but that kind of makes sense. I'm sticking to Catholicism. Pope's my buddy. Oh, that reminds me. Improve relations with the Pope. Buddy Pope, eh? Mm. Yeah, gathering papal influence. Not very useful, but um, the Treaty of Tordesillas will be. And they have a lovely orange color now. Soon I'll get the awesome government type. Orange! Duck al orange. Yeah. Orange is... So, for the first aspect of faith, yeah. I took um, individual creeds, which reduces idea cost. It yeah, looks that's... like it could be quite beneficial. It's 5%, right? Yeah. So, 380 for ideas now instead of 400. It's not bad. Oh, I got the event. Oh, let me pause for a little while. Ah. What event? Constitu constitutionalism and the general estates. In the early 17th century, well, I did it a bit early, uh, when the northern part of the Netherlands had managed to hold the Spinards at bay, a political conflict started over which type of government the new country should have. Maurits of Oranian uh, wanted a monarchy, while was that Oldenbarn Welt wanted the confederacy? Mm, the conflict ended with the confederacy of semi autonomous provinces, hence its name the United Provinces. Still, a spark of monarchism was kept, which later evolved into something more. Mm, All right, I don't need to know the whole thing. Like, what, what does it do? Okay, that's it. <laughs> we can stay a monarchy, we can change to the unique Dutch Republic, we can become an administrative republic or an administrative monarchy. I'm obviously, obviously going with the Dutch Republic because it's awesome. All right, cool. Okay, and um, King Wilhelm. King Alan Willem Moss. is now the start holder, yes? And we can get, uh, an, I have a new election. I can get a 002 or a 252. Let's get a 252. Show me the thing. There he is. Start holder Willem. Oh. And um, the unique government type is, well, now I have the orangists in power, which is a bit bad. Because now I don't get elections, and my oh, I should have taken the bad guy. Crap. Oh. Why? Yeah, it's hereditary, isn't it? Now? No, it's not. It's not hereditary, but um, he rules until he dies. Now he's not that good, ah. and I don't get a Republican tradition increase, so I I stay at fifty. Should have taken the other guy, even though he's weak. Let's hope the king dies quick, and let's make him a general. What? Not the king. In, in those wars that you're not going to be going into at any time the soon, due to, due to all your aggressive expansion. Hopefully, he yeah. falls off a ramp. Wars that he was going to swear off of. Yeah. He'll I fall think off I'll just. Horse. He'll be all right. Maybe I'll send him to the new world or something like that. <laughs> Gotta fight savages. Can't make him a conquistador. Just casually, 
He just casually fights his way through the Aztecs. He rules from the front, man. That's how he does it. Yeah, that was a mistake because I'm uh, I'm going to stay at fifty Republican tradition for the whole of his life now. Shouldn't have done that. Portuguese Brazil is a thing. Oh. It's a thing. Mm-hmm. I hope to beat them to the Caribbean because I don't think they have any colonies there yet. Well, I think they're close enough to get there, though. I've got so many empty Diplo slots, like diplomatic relations slots. I've got three empty. In, like, I've got five altogether, and I can't really get any allies, so I need to start basically vassalizing people. Castile and Portugal hate you? Well, they don't hate me, but they don't like me enough to ally with me because I'm allied with France. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. I see. Castile might inherit some um, Aragon and Naples. They are going to inherit them. They, they are going to inherit them. I've got no. I've got no. I've, I've already. I've basically been playing as if they already have. Oh, eventually they will. But I mean, like, it's been long enough that now they can start to. They can pass the decision and get. Um get Aragon instantly when they get the next technology level because they're at 9 administrative and you need 10 interesting mains how are you doing mines please be protestant oh. they were having trouble before with religious zealots so I was hoping that they'd go protestant Savoy, Savoy thinks ah. that I am a rival interesting Savoy thinks what? Savoy rival uh, Grey Hunter oh why do I not have you selected a special interest? I should. What? Oh, so you... I allied with Corsica and then they instantly broke their alliance with me. That's a bit bizarre. Okay. They're a bit bipolar today. Oh, Leopoldo de Savoia. Oh, they have the same dynasty as Savoy. Who does? A Corsica. Ah. France in a war. Right. Should I go? Should we go for this, or should we go for that? This, that, or the other. Mm. Yeah, the other, probably. Oh dear, an advisor died. That is unfortunate. Was he someone I was actually employing? He was. When removing a when it gives you the quest to remove someone from the map, if you vassalize them, does that count? Or mm, I don't think so. Don't you think need to hold either. the province. No, I don't think it does either. Oh, look at this! Rival of rival. I've got an actual um, something to improve my uh, influence with you, Grey Hunter. Oh. So I think. Oh, I will. Savoy. Yeah. Well, no, because rival of a rival type thing, you know, when they say, like, improve relations with someone, so I'm going to do that. It's not allying him, it's just improving, improving relations. Yes. Come on, King, die. Die, King! I miss mm. assassins. Yeah. When I, uh... This irritates me a little. What was that? <laughs> what? Austria's friends with everyone that I want to actually kill. Because <laughs> of course they are. Hungary, Provence, Palatinate, Nuremberg, Ravensburg, Papal State, Savoy. That's a lot of relations. They have influence, of course they do. They always do. It's Austria. Yeah. Let oh. other fights. Uh, let others fight wars. You be Austria. You be, uh, what was that? You Austria happy. You marry something like that. The translation of mm, the Habsburg creed. Something. <laughs> Not creed. I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? Haven't no? a clue. No. There was a saying in Europe that um, let others fight wars. Austria will marry instead. It was in Latin, I think. So that's why the translation was so weird. Weirdos. Like they're trying to confuse people. <laughs> Can become the defender of the faith. No, thank you. Yes, that that seems like a bad plan. Especially with all those Protestants here. Maybe I would have to well, defend yeah. Castile from an or I would have to defend Hungary from an Ottoman attack, for example. No. Hmm. I think I'll actually pass the declaration of indulgence when uh, first of my provinces start turning Protestant because so far none of them have. That's interesting. Are any of them converting? Mm, no, not yet. I have been spared so far. Hmm. 
spared you say come over to the glorious protestant faith brother i can't i need oh, okay my coalition is yeah dying no more coalition perfect time to attack someone again burgundy <laughs> frankfurt has entered into a military coalition against us i am very scared i'm well, terrified even uh, I was thinking about attacking Burgundy, but they're allied with Sweden, and Sweden is becoming one of the most prominent powers in the region. I really don't know what to do right now. They have everything they need to make Scandinavia. Do they? No, I think they I'm need one sure more province from Norway, no? No, I think they just... they might need Gotland. But they've got all the others. What do you think? Can uh, me, Castile, France, uh, Aragon, Naples, and Oldenburg fight uh, Burgundy, Austria, Trier, Palatinate, Mainz, and Sweden. Probably, who knows? Mm, maybe. It depends on how many troops Sweden actually has. Check that. Total troops. Ottomans, 77,000. Austria, 40,000. France, six, uh, 36. Wait, why would Ottomans join him? What's this got to do with anything? No, no, no. I'm just uh, looking at the oh. ledger. Sweden doesn't have so many. 26,000 only. How's their navy? I think you could take them. What would you be fighting for? Um, conquest of all of Burgundy. Then I, I think you could do it. Because France, France, France is right there. Maybe yeah. I should wait a little No, bit. you could because, yeah, precisely because France are right there. But um, the question is, how will France react to you taking all of Burgundy? Also, yeah. for some reason, Austria would defend them. Why? Because they're part of the Empire. I was Burgundy part of the Empire? They shouldn't be. Should Luxembourg they? is part of the HRE. Yeah. Uh, so is Namur. Crap, yeah. shouldn't they? So provinces. is Loon. So is. Um... Well, oh, that's not. But yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of provinces that are in the HRE. Wait a minute, why won't Poland join me? Because you're not declaring war in Austria? Probably in debt. Yeah, in debt. Oh, I'm pretty rich. I can send them money. Let's improve our relations with Poland. If we can flip to friendly. Bohemia. What are you fighting for? Because Poland could take care of Sweden on their own. Well, I mean, with Lithuania. Then we would be just left with Castile and France and Aragon and me against Burgundy and Austria. Yeah, I think that could work. Could do. Massive coalition wars would follow. Ah, who cares about <laughs> that? You'll be fine. Also, I would have to avoid the problem taking the provinces that France has claims on. Maybe just the four to the north. Loon, Namur, Liège, and Luxembourg. Give me them influence ideas. Yes. You have influence too? I do. It's good little influence. Tribute man. system? Don't mind if I do. Salzburg, give me more money. Nothing wrong with a bit of influence. More mm. money, more problems. I'm doing exploration mostly. Damn it, Bohemia. Stop taking things around me. I want to take the things that are around me. <laughs> yeah, you're about to be caught between Austria and Bohemia. I'm actually okay with that. I think Bohemia won't be too bad. I mean, they don't like me all that much. But they don't have particularly strong alliances. Are they your brothers and sisters in faith? They are. And they're allied with Baden, Mecklenburg, and Ulm. So, you know, I'm not too worried about that particular alliance. Pretty sure I can take it. Let's see. I should probably build some trade ships, but um, I think I'll accumulate some money for now, just in case I have to send money to Poland to make them come into a war. Denmark it exists. It has mm, Gotland. And so Norway exists. Pond, it think. has Sogndal. Sweden has done its job. It has. Sweden's drunk. Sweden has done its job. <laughs> Good job, Sweden. Uh, conquering. And they have the mission to conquer Gotland, so I don't foresee Gotland existing all that Maybe, much. Maybe, like but uh, they're allied with Poland, which could save them. Yeah, maybe. I think Poland and Lithuania are stronger than Sweden. Depends on if Sweden calls in their allies as well. 
Ah, oh, damn it. You would be an elector, wouldn't you? The Palatinate is an elector, so they will never accept vassalization. If I went to war, nobody would come and help me. Well. I guess in that case, this particular mission is rather useless. Probably, unless... Uh, I mean, if you take it, you'll get the castle's belly on them. No, no, I took the mission ages oh, you, ago. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Sorry. Because I had a truce with them, so I was planning on going to war with them about now. And it turns out that none of my allies will actually help me, and Austria will help them. And seeing as Austria is part of the coalition, I'm pretty sure they can call in all if their friends. Want. Because I went to war. Nah. <laughs> What has gone wrong? What did you do? No, nothing's gone wrong. I just needed to bring my ships back into port. Ah. Where's the rest of my trade ships, bloody hell? Hmm. Come on, France. Come over, my friends. Oh, dear. The Duke is sick. Really? He is. Not, hmm. not, nothing too serious, I hope. Well, I'm either delegating more power to the nobles or to the provinces. Well, I don't like those nobles, so provinces it is. How those old is nobles my with their compensation desires and stuff. <laughs> exactly. 51, that's not too bad. I don't need to jump in there. Okay, Bye. now, how can I make you like me better, Salzburg? What can I do? Can I send you a little bit of money? Just a tiny bit. Mm. Do you, you want? Oh, they're a vassal of Bavaria, Salzburg. Great. I forgot yeah, you I'm wondering them. whether to. I'm wondering whether I want to bring them into the fold now or not. Mm. Just remember that through improving relations with the vassal, you can get up to 200. You probably remember that, but. Yeah, I know. I'm. I like. I could do it in a decade or so after all the aggressive expansion goes away, or I could potentially do it now if I gave them gifts and other such things. After the. I think I'll just gone. wait. Exactly. I think I'll just wait, though. I mean, I have influence ideas. I'm, I'm getting more money from them right now, and I'm pretty sure that the next one along... Who are these little pissants? No, the one after the next one actually decreases the annexation cost, so I might as well wait. Why is there a random yeah. one stack of Flanders troops down here? Or two stack? Well, no. well, they got tired of being in Flanders fields, you see. Obviously. Who that war with? Oh, right, Good they're question. in my war. Oh, cool, all right. Oh, yeah, they're, Why they're are you fighting anyone, France. Right? Didn't notice you were fighting anybody. Yeah. Mantua, Switzerland, and Siena. I've basically had enough of Siena and Mantua being independent, so I'm going to vassalize <laughs> one of them at least. And then we'll see what and we'll do conquer for the, the other. You can probably get them both. Yeah, I think I will vassalize both of them. Because I've, I've, got, I've, got, I've, got, I've got, yeah, I've got five diplomatic slots, but I'm only using two of them. I can't really get any good allies, so it's like, what's the point? I might as well start vassalizing, eh? I do get like 25% extra vassal income as well from influence ideas, so. Yeah. Soon my first colony will be complete. Just a few more years. Go on, France. Kick their ass. There we go. Well done. Beat up those Swiss troops that tried to siege my capital while I siege the rest. Oh, well done, France. <gasps> well done. Can reach the Caribbean. Well done. Well done, Toriel. Well done. Quick, go for the Turk Islands. Turk which and ones? Caicos Islands. Which which one are the Turks? The north one. No, yeah, uh, it's near the yeah. Bahamas. Yeah. No, I can only reach the ones on the right. Ah, Saint Kitts and Antigua. Yeah, etc. etc. Let's start with Saint Kitts. Now, truce with Salzburg has ended. Well, that's that's fantastic. They're my vassal game. I'm not sure if you've noticed this, but we're friends. But um, yeah, but if they wanted to declare independence, now they could. I Salzburg could. deeply distrusts Bavaria. I wonder why. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I kind of want some rebels to pop, because then France can go and beat them up for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're almost there, Ruby. Ubani separatists. Come on, 1.7 years. Just pop. That France covered Actually, spies. speaking of rebels, those ones I was worrying about never popped. They just went away. France, why are you letting these Siena troops back in? That's it. Go on. 
crushed them? Why are you letting them come back in and try and unseat them? It's all part of a plan. Uh, you know what it was? It was part to trap them in there. That's what it was. Exactly. Cool. I got my uh, false sense of security. I got my prestige and diplomatic power up from getting buddy buddy with you. Naval race versus Savoy. I've never seen that one before. Yeah. I'm, I keep getting naval race versus England, but I don't really want to do that. Yeah, that's not really a good idea. <laughs> is it? Incorporate Salzburg into our country. Could do sure, it that actually time. sounds really good. What do I get for this? Extra diplomatic reputation? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, how long will it take? What's their development? It's 16 development. Not that much. Uh, I wonder if it'll tell me. Uh, it doesn't say exactly how long. But it will once you've clicked now. it. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want to do it right now, anyway. And plus, I can't. They don't like me quite enough. They will eventually. After they get over the whole aggressive expansion thing. Okay. Need to keep improving relations with the Pope to get the Tordesillas Treaty. Did Brazil get it? Yes, they did. Not Brazil, Portuguese, but Brazil. I mean. Interesting. I didn't see Castile anywhere in America. Anywhere. They do have a lot in Africa, I've seen. Mm. Yeah, they do. Well, if I get lucky, I might get all of North America and the Caribbean. Cool. That, that would be a lot of um, trade power. It would. Oh, incidentally, Berg, um, you're still Catholic. You can check that, right? Uh, can you get uh, Republican tradition for papal influence? Probably not, right? Don't know, but hold on. I've got a few things. Um, awesome. Those, those rebels did pop. Could France well, come can't. back and beat them up for me? <laughs> did France leave in the meantime? Well, no, they're, beat, they're like cra crapping on the rest of Switzerland. Yeah. So I might actually have to Speaking of religion, myself. I can pick another aspect Already? of faith. I'm wondering which one to do. Yeah, because my, my country is fully united in religion, so I get 1.9... Um, I get 1.9 church power. I think they're going to month, do it. Well done, off, France. Well power. done, my friends. Go and beat up my rebels for me. I like the constant uh, legitimacy increase. It can come in handy sometimes. I'm not having trouble with legitimacy so oh, far. Reform um, Reformation branches out oh, to France. Crap. Did France just go Protestant? Reformed, rather. All right, well, that means I'm going reformed. No, no, no. I, I don't think they did. They just got a... They got a center of reformation in Paris. Ah, that's good. <laughs> I I hope that's good. I mean, reformed is a good religion. The papal state have declared war what on me. Hold on, 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 hold on. What have you done? Nothing. What they declared war on me, but ah, oh, we're gonna kick their ass oh, so what? badly. It's Austria and the papal states versus and Poland. Poland's on my side. Yes, Poland, yes, Lithuania, yes, yeah, because Poland, uh, Poland basically won't join in any wars for me, and the only reason why I've got them is for this specific circumstance. <laughs> is if if I ever get into a war where Austria are the aggressors, even though that, yeah, okay, that's awesome. Yeah, he'll beat them up quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna take Ursary as my second. I might even faith. get them to give Extra Venice production. back loads of their land <laughs> if we wow. if we beat mm. them up real bad. Right, well, well Austria is separate, so you can you can do a separate piece with Austria. You know what you should do? You should release Achillea. They might accept diplomatic vassalization afterwards. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I just need to think whether I want to get out of this war now, the one that I'm in, just to concentrate. It's probably also a good time to end the episode. All right, yeah, I'll think about, oh, yes, it. I'll think about it off camera then. Uh, well, we're only a minute over. All right, well, there you go, guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, viewers, dear viewers, interesting stuff afoot in the, um, in the world. Well, in Europe anyway. Um, again, please, if you're enjoying the series, please show support by hitting the like button, leave your comments and all that. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Bye.